We're here today just because of this amplifier. It's a pre-amplifier uh, called the Backer Labs Rhythm 1.1. We called it Rhythm 1.1 because I I've been a drummer for 40 years, I don't know, 35 years. And to me, this thing just has a boatload of rhythm. And I was originally a customer of Bob's, and that's why we went into business together. Because as soon as he uh, sent me this particular power supply, I went crazy. My head, the, my head blew off. And I called him up and I said, Bob, what did you do to me? Because Bob modifies amps for a, a living. But I had no idea this was coming at me. And so <laughs> when I got this, I just sort of, I was sitting here dancing in my, I was like, what's going on with this preamplifier? And he said, oh, I invented a new power supply. It's, it's kind of interesting. Well, <laughs> immediately I was like, okay, we've got to patent this power supply. We've got to go to the you know, United States government and get it all. So now we've got a patent. We've actually, since we got a patent, we then decided on a chassis, a look, uh, the other components besides the power supply. And it, now it's a preamp, and we think it's kind of cool. Uh, I'll just show you one kind of cool thing about it. I don't know if everybody's seen this already, but... You know, if you have a tube preamp, this is a, a tube preamplifier, it has two 12AU7s and nothing else. So if you want to change your tube set, it's pretty cost effective. And if you want to change those tubes, it's pretty easy. You just press down on this lid here, the other side pops up, you lift it off, and there's the tubes. Um, it's, a, it's a tube door. And we haven't seen it before. We have, actually might patent this. <laughs> Bob? <laughs> why not? I mean, we should probably, I mean, Bruce suggested it. Well, I don't know why we wouldn't patent this. Anyway, so that's kind of the first fun feature to it. But for me, the real feature is the power supply, which has, as you've probably all heard, it has Teflon capacitors in the power supply. Nobody else in the world makes a power supply that can run on Teflon. It doesn't matter what company, it doesn't matter if you're Bill Gates, it doesn't matter what you do, unless you go to Bob Backer, you can't get Teflon caps in a power supply. Now, there are companies that put Teflon caps in preamps, absolutely, but they are not running the power supply. And for me, that's why it has such good rhythm, because the power supply is responsible for delivering power. And when the music demands more power, the power supply is either going to be right on time and responding, and, and rhythmically correct, or it's going to be sloppy or slow or out of time. And the kind of caps that other companies use, Bob has always felt, are not particularly linear in responding to right now power demands. Well, Teflons are the best at doing that and doing a lot of other things, and that's part of why this thing sounds good, in my opinion. So anyway, that's why we're here today. Um, there's brochures in the other room if anybody's interested in the details. I don't want to go on and on and on, but um, I just wanted to say thanks to Bob for making my life a little nicer <laughs> in, as far as the music that I listen to. And if anybody else is interested or has any questions, um, I'm, I'm happy to take questions. Thank you. 